In this session, we'll be discussing about different characters related to diatoms. So I've told you diatoms are actually the members of Chrysophyta and Chrysophyta have the reserve food which is called Chrysolaminarin. So remember, they have got the reserve food in the form of Chrysolaminarin. Chrysolaminarin is also called leucosin. So they can give you any of these options. So always remember that diatoms will have reserve food in the form of Chrysolaminarin and leucosin. Apart from diatoms, because Chrysophyta members are desmids also, if someone, were, someone will ask you about the what you call reserve food of desmids, your answer will be the same. It could be Chrysolaminarin and Leucosin. What you call the Chrysolaminarin has got the other name called Leucosin. Apart from Chrysolaminarin or Leucosin, you will also have oils present in body of diatoms as a reserve food. Now they remain freely floating over the surface of water. Be, why? Because they have something related to, they have some lipid structures, they have some oil structures in the body which make them afloat over the surface. Now when you talk about cell wall, they also have cell wall, dinoflagellates were also having cell wall. The cell wall of dinoflagellates were made up of cellulose and pectin. Here apart from cellulose, you have silica, very important thing that they have silica in their cell wall and both of these what you call together are called frustule. And this frustule is present in the form of soap box. You see there's one half, there's another half. So they, they behave like they, the body is something like soap box where you have the down part and you have the upper part. The down part is called hypotheca and the upper part is called apitheca. Now this has been asked in one among the exams. The body of which what you call protesta member looks like soap box. Your answer would be diatoms. They don't have flagella. Remember, dinoflagellates were having two flagella. They don't have flagella except their reproductive stage. In reproductive stage, they will be developing flagella, but they don't have flagella in their life cycle. While talking about pigments, I've told you that chlorophyll A is common to all photosynthetic protists. What differs is the presence of chlorophyll B, chlorophyll C, carotene, or what you call the xanthophyll. So now, they in particular will have chlorophyll C. The chlorophyll C was also present in dinoflagellates. In dinoflagellates, you have seen the carotene was alpha carotene. Here we have beta carotene, and what you call uh, the xanthophyll, which is present in diatoms, is di diatoxanthin. They basically move by because I've told you they don't have flagella, so they basically move by mucilage propulsion. Now, what is mucilage? They secrete some mucilage around their body. When they come onto that particular mucilage, they will propel from that particular place, and that is how they move. Some examples are Navicula, Simbella, and Malocera. If you can talk about the reproduction in diatoms, so diatoms will be reproducing basically with the help of asexual methods, which is binary fission. Now what happens, I've told you apitheca and hypotheca. So what happens during what you call binary fission, there will be like two halves separating, apitheca and hypotheca will separate. Apitheca will get the fresh hypotheca and hypotheca will get the fresh apitheca. And that is how they will watch, they will, I mean, the form, uh, the new, what you call the body of diatoms. They basically divides in night or in early morning because the other time they are doing the photosynthesis. So reproduction time is at least at night or in morning. They have gametic meiosis because they are diploid. Remember dinoflagellates were haploid. When they were haploid, they will have to maintain the haploidy nature. And because of that, the zygote was doing the meiosis. But when they are diploid, for the formation of gametes, they will be doing the meiosis. So they have gametic meiosis. Remember? And they have a very important asexual spore, which is uh, responsible for asexual reproduction, which is called oxospores. So next session we'll be detailing you about different facts of diatoms.